Al-Islam has been weaving traditional saris since he was eight. It's a skill handed to him from his grandfather and father. But he's worried the art of making these saris, known as jamdani, is a dying trade. In the past, we used to teach people how to weave the jamdani design. But these days, people don't want to learn. Other kinds of work are better paid. That's why the numbers of workers are decreasing. Despite these concerns, Al Islam and his brothers have expanded the family business over the years. They now own 12 small factories in the Naranganj district of Bangladesh. The jamdani are made based on a technique that involves weaving a series of geometric patterns into a lightweight cotton fabric known as muslin, and they're exclusive to Bangladesh. Jamdani is Bangladesh's first and only item to be recognized as a geographical indication product like Rockfort cheese or Darjeeling tea. It's an indication of its high quality, the traditional methods by which it's made and its historical connection with the country. Al-Islam sells his saris to shops across Bangladesh and receives 12 to 15 percent of the sale price. For an item like this, which costs $700, he gets around $100. Arong, one of the retailers that stocks his saris, employs 65,000 artists and now wants to start selling its goods overseas. But like Al-Islam, the management is worried there are not enough traditional artisans and that unless they increase capacity, foreign demands may not be met. They're also concerned about competition from cheaper products made in India. The handicraft product is always a bit, you know, difficult and a bit, a bit, little bit of costly. Direct human touch is there, so you can always have to compete with the machine-made products. So that is also a big challenge. Bangladesh's government has started a number of initiatives to keep its handicrafts tradition alive. At this state-run design centre, artisans learn the art of block printing. Ruksana Jaman sells handmade clothes from home. She's attending this course because she can't afford private lessons. I would like to uh, add something new in my business. That's why I have come here to learn some uh, designing. They have uh, taught me what is, uh, uh, about color, about chemicals, uh, about design. The Bangladesh Small and Cottage Industries Corporation is a government body responsible for overseeing the handicrafts industry. We are sincere about ensuring the branding will give them a special mark like hologram sticker, whatever it is, so that the quality is ensured. For the artisans who choose to remain in the profession, it's more than just about earning an income. It's also about keeping Bangladesh's rich heritage alive. Shamim Chowdhury, TRT World, Naranganj, Bangladesh.